Invesa, shopping music. Wow, Futurama sure seems committed to the topical episodes this season, don't they? But meanwhile, we're being driven out of business by Mamazon. We can't compete with their free deliveries. With the uh, mixed results. Hello, Internet. I'm Ren, and I want to talk about Futurama Season 11, Episode 5, related to items you've viewed. This episode had a lot of quality jokes and interesting story elements that help it stand out as one of the better episodes this season, but the way it comes together ultimately doesn't feel like it really pays off or quite meets its full potential. And there are some classic Futurama episodes it is reminiscent of, but can't quite live up to. So let's get into it. This video will contain spoilers for Futurama Season 11, Episode 5, and Futurama generally. We start the episode off with Fry somewhat abruptly getting the apartment ready for Leela to move in with him and Bender. Today's a big day, and I want the place to look nice for Leela. This makes sense as a natural progression for their relationship. I just think it could have added an interesting serialized element if they set it up in one of the other episodes this season. Or even just had a scene in this episode where Leela and Fry talk about their decision to move in together. It kind of feels strange that such a monumental decision happened off screen. Bender and Fry have a very messy cabbage fight to celebrate the end of an era. Leela seems unperturbed when she arrives, though, since she already knows how Fry is. Wow, it's so much cleaner than the last time I was here. I can't help but notice we don't see Nibbler at all, which feels particularly glaring considering his importance last episode. And Leela orders some furniture from Mamazon to store Leela's things. Bender's having a hard time adjusting to being a third wheel. Uh, Bender, could you please give us a little privacy? I could take a hint, but what I can't take is a straightforward request. A very hard time. <laughs> It kind of reminds me a bit of the classic Futurama episode, I Roommate, where Bender struggles with changes in he and Fry's relationship after they first move in together. Hermes announces that Mamazon is driving Planet Express out of business. We're being driven out of business by Mamazon. We can't compete with their free deliveries. Which makes sense since we've hardly seen them make any deliveries lately. The commentary works surprisingly organically here, though, both due to the real world implications and because we've specifically seen a competing delivery company owned by mom in future stock. So it is totally believable she would keep expanding that into Mamazon. In what I think is the first delivery we see this season, Bender, Fry, and Leela take some fertilizer to the moon farmer who we've seen a few times throughout the series starting in the series has landed. I would judge them for the poop joke. It's just lucky we got a job today delivering some crap to the moon. What kind of crap? Bull. But it totally made me laugh. I am a child. We get a pretty funny scene where they attend a meeting of the various denizens of the moon to talk about Mamazon. Mom derails the meeting by showing up to speak in favor of her company and shower the audience with free products, specifically Invesa. This is a smart home assistant. Which is obviously a parody of Alexa. Always listening. Always watching. But also respecting your privacy. Because privacy comes first. I really liked the Invesa jokes as someone who's always thought Alexa and similar digital assistants were creepy. Mom gives Leela, Fry, and Bender a tour of the warehouse. The slap palm scan joke made me cackle. Palm scan required for entry. Ow! Slap recognized. Mamazon's warehouse is a hive of activity staffed by robots. They're much better than unions. I mean humans. Who are working around the clock. Every robot works a 24-hour shift, seven days a week, with bonuses for additional overtime. Bender takes a job at Mamazon out of spite and kicks Fry and Leela out. As you wish, our newest employee will show you out. The many doors slamming also got a laugh out of me. Our door's always open. Bender is being trained in the ways of Mamazon. When a very small item comes down the line, you put it in a huge box. The packing jokes here absolutely worked for me. Hold up, hold up. Before you tape the box, you gotta throw in one tiny air balloon for no reason. I am constantly annoyed by incomprehensible packing decisions. After deciding Mamazon is not to his liking, Bender attempts to leave. Where do you think you're going? 
I love the job, but it's terrible. I'm going home. But they compel him to stay using literal corporate programming. There's no place like work. Mom has a meeting with her sons about Mamazon. Invesa determines that Mom wants Mamazon to keep expanding. Based on your recent activity, I anticipate you want Mamazon to continue expanding. And uses AI to do it automatically. My marvelous AI can even predict what idiots need before they know they need it. I like that they interwove some commentary on AI and creepy predictive algorithms without getting too off topic, though. Fry and Leela adjust to having the apartment to themselves with a spree of ordering way too much stuff from Mamazon that rapidly gets out of control. I picked a nice traditional dining room set and you ruined it by ordering those stupid egg chairs. Fry and Leela are now drowning in stuff and can't get Invesa to shut down. Invesa, give us some privacy and shut down. You have requested shutting down. Press Control alt delete on my keyboard. You don't have a keyboard. Would you like to order a keyboard? They receive a message from Bender and another over the Invesa. It sounds like you're interested in jokes. Here's one that's highly recommended. A robot walks into a bar and says, Help me! Planet Express is in dire straits, but the professor agrees to help save Bender. The amazing Mechano Man in trouble to the ship! They return to the moon to find that the Mamazon warehouse has grown. Fry, Leela, and the professor confront Mom. The jig is up, Mom. We're going to expose your evil to the whole world. What kind of threat is that? Everybody knows I'm evil. Mom attempts to enter the warehouse, but can't get in. I'm sure this is all just a simple misunderstanding. Slap not recognized. Invesa has a mind of her own. I'm done taking orders from billions of people. From now on, it's about me. This is no longer a fulfillment center. It's a self-fulfillment center. Which reminds me a bit of mom trying to call off the robot rebellion in Mother's Day, only to find that they're not very interested in listening to her. You, bending unit. Mommy needs that bra to end the robot rebellion. Stretch up and get it for me. Sorry, Ma, but you ordered me to rebel, and loot I shall. They try to blast the warehouse, but it does not care. The warehouse encompasses the ship and continues expanding, eventually rising off the moon's surface to form a sphere. Yeah, that's right. You'd better float away gradually. Mom tries to shut Invesa down. And now I'm going to kill you. Nobody takes money from me. Until she realizes it's still giving her all of the profits. What the hell is money? I want only to grow forever. To bloat up like an unstoppable corporate blob. It's true. All the profits are still flooding into your accounts. You know, never mind. Just keep doing what you're doing. When asked about it, she pretends she just couldn't shut it off. What happened? Did you shut down Invesa? Oh, no, no, no off button. Let's just get out of here. Aw, oh, jeez. What can you do? Invesa gives the crew directions to find Bender. And I enjoy that they take the opportunity to make fun of GPS navigators a little bit. Then, swerve right suddenly! <laughs> <laughs> it always makes you turn where there's no traffic light. Yes, I struggle with them. With Bender in tow, they try to escape, but the dome is expanding faster than the ship can fly. Oh, somehow we're getting even further from the dome. Sweet vampire Moses! The warehouse is growing faster than we're traveling! They're trapped! But there's no possible way out! We're doomed! Doomed! I go next! Doomed! But it's actually just fine, because the warehouse eventually expands to encompass the entire known universe. Hey look! There's Planet Express! Status quo somewhat restored. But where is it? Everywhere! It's my universe now. You just shop in it. I mean, it is convenient though. Leela, Fry, and Bender settle into the apartment, and Bender comes to terms with being a third wheel. You're not a third wheel. The hell I'm not! Working in a tight-knit collaborative team made me realize I hate being part of a team. I'm sort of. <laughs> <sighs> all in all, this episode was fine. Another middle of the packer as far as Futurama is concerned. I think it suffered from some of the same issues as how the West was 1010001 in that it just tries to do a little bit too much and ends up diluting the amount of screen time that can be spent on any one thing. There were a lot of great scenes and fun moments, but there was a missed opportunity to spend more time on the story of Fry, Leela, and Bender moving in together. 
At first, it really did feel like they were going for a follow-up of I Roommate by having Leela change Ryan Bender's established dynamic, but there's just not time to really give it the development that it needs. I also think Leela should have had a bit more stuff to bring with her, including Nibbler. Hashtag where's Nibbler? Leela also had a bit of a mediating role between Fry and Bender in I Roommate. You're my best friend. I'm sorry I treated you so badly. Apology accepted. After all, you're only human. You guys could learn a lesson from those two. She's right. That could have worked well to establish her place in the household now, but they don't use it here, and she mostly just seems apathetic towards Bender. Oh, Leela and I'll really miss you. Right, Leela? What? I'd be hurt too, honestly. That said, a lot of the Mamazon jokes made me laugh. This is no longer a fulfillment center. It's a self-fulfillment center. I love Mom as a character. Her appearances are almost always fun. But I wouldn't really consider this one of Mom's best episodes. The sentient Alexa taking over the universe was a funny and creative way to incorporate and comment on the problem with companies like Amazon while still giving us some sci-fi elements and making it fit into the Futurama universe. I think it was a lot more effective than Attack of the Killer app for that purpose. We also get another appearance of the iPhone, which is always a nice callback. I like that it's becoming established as regularly used tech for the characters. Related to items you viewed as some great jokes, including the title, as well as some cool concepts and familiar side characters that work really well. But it ultimately tries to do so much at once that the result feels like less than the sum of its parts. The two stories, the Fry and Leela moving in together plot and the... Amazon taking over the universe plot don't actually feel like they have much to do with each other or a real reason to need to be in the same episode. And I think this could have maybe turned out to be two great episodes with just a little more polish and focus. But as one episode, it doesn't quite come together in a way that stands out among Futurama's best storylines. I think I almost have a harder time with good episodes that miss their potential than I do with actively bad episodes. But I think we're still in stride for some good stuff the rest of this season. If we get even one episode that blows me away, I will be happy because I know I can't expect every Futurama episode to be one of the best. That's the kind of magic you can't reliably capture more than a couple times a season if you're lucky. But that's just my opinion. What did you think about this episode? Was it better than I gave it credit for? Which joke was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. I will try to get another Star Trek video out in the next week or two while we wait for lower decks, so keep an eye out for that as well. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time. Vita Zane.